Welcome back to Lorena's Kitchen. All right, so I remember eating fritters with hard old bread growing up. Like, you know, every now and then you feel for something different. So that's what we're making today. All right, so stay tuned. All right, we have simple ingredients today. So we're gonna dive right into it. You know, um, fritters is just one of those easy um, something you just make up. I'm sure this was one of those things a Jamaica would just take one and turn it in a fashion So that's what we're doing here. You can put any um, vegetables um, Any basic seasoning anything you want to add to your fritters. Some people use sweet pepper Some people use put anything you want to put in there, but I am just keeping it simple. I have my scotch bonnet um, scallion onion thyme the sawfish, which is already washed, boiled, so probably about a medium onion, chop, scallion, about four sprigs, garlic, and like I said, the tomato, one tomato, chop up, add any amount of ingredients you wanna add to yours. So this is a, we call it stamp and go, all right? So always something um, they made, well, we used to make when growing up, you know, they made it for us. It's just an easy, quick recipe. So this is probably, um, not even six ounces of sawfish, codfish, pollock, whatever one you want to use. Um, just make sure, like I said, wash off the salt. I boil it for like 10 to 15 minutes and then um, wash it off again and then just flake it out because you don't want it too salty. And then if you wash out too much of the salt, you can always add a chups of um, salt back to the recipe. So it's very easy to make and it's it's, a, it's one of those user-friendly recipes so all right so don't overthink it just go with the flow like it's a stamp and go so i'm just basically dropping all my ingredients and that's the garlic i already add the, the scallion green onion i already add my um regular onion this no particular order i'm just doing it this way to show you but you know on a regular day I would just dump it all in and keep it moving all right so that's what we're doing right here and then I'm gonna add the flour um, basically using about a cup of flour you can double the ingredients I use a cup of flour to a cup of water um, scotch bonnet is a must it need a little kick so I add the scotch bonnet pepper give it that nice little flavor but I'm also gonna add a little salt and pepper and if you want it fluffy just add like half a teaspoon of um, baking powder, all right? But if you don't want it too fluffy, just leave out the baking powder. So it's up to you, all right? And there's a thyme already, you know, basically removed most of it um, from the stick. Um, or you can just break it up in there if you want to. So I am just basically mixing it out right here. Add a little water as you go to see how thick or thin you want it. I know some people like it thinner or if you want it thick I'm making it a little thick this time so it's different variations of how you can make it there's no wrong or right way so don't let people tell you oh that's not how you cook that and um we all grew up in you know Jamaica as Jamaicans we, there's so many different parts of Jamaica or then cook a country or then cook a town or then cook up in other hills or then cook on the flats Jamaica is so unique and so diverse I have different um friends from jamaica they don't cook like how i cook because i grew up in a different house <laughs> like everybody grew up different so i grew up with everybody in my family cook aunts uncle grandparents it was just like we all cook so cooking comes natural um like i said just go with the flow so add in the salt and pepper right there i have those beautiful salt and pepper grinders they are on my um amazon storefront make sure you follow me on amazon i will be going live in August on Amazon five shows next month so I'm gonna share the link in this video make sure you follow me on Amazon so as soon as I'm going live you get that notification so um, and then the kitchen tools go ahead and pick them up so you can cook with me live on Amazon next month so that's some great things I have coming in store and don't forget to you know follow me subscribe to my channel um, right now as I'm speaking hit that notification bell also follow me on all my handles i'm on youtube um well yeah we're normal on youtube um tiktok the rainer's kitchen instagram the rainer's kitchen i'm on facebook the rainer's kitchen i'm on twitter pinterest all of them okay all right so right now i'm just adding coconut oil which is my favorite oil coconut oil enhances the flavor of every and anything you're cooking so that's basically what i'm doing 
All right, so my pan is on medium heat. Don't want it to burn. Just gonna fry like three to four minutes on each side. Um, and that's it. You can enjoy by itself. You can eat it with a piece of bread. Like I said, when I was growing up, I remember um, having it for breakfast. It's not something that I eat all the time. Every once in a while I eat it now, but I was like, you know what? I try it with bread. It just, that nostalgic moment, like, wow. You know them some memories don't live like people do? They always remember you. I have so many childhood memories. Even though I left Jamaica at the age of seven in 1987, I still have so many great memories. Those early childhood memories, getting up, eating um, stuff like this before school. I left Jamaica when I was in the second grade. And like I said, my parents kept the culture alive in my home. Um, I grew up in restaurants. Um, at 15, my parents opened their first restaurant. So it was just like the Jamaica culture is just, it, it just lives on forever in me. So, so happy I can share it with you on this platform and, um, go ahead make sure you share this, um, these recipes with your friends, your families. Um, it's, you know, like I said, it's a, a great way to, to taste a piece of the culture, um, experience a different piece of Jamaica by watching these videos. Somebody else might have a different view of Jamaica. So this is basically my view. All right. So I'm going to eat it with the bread. It tastes very good with the hard dough bread. I just need a little um, tea. You can drink some mint tea or some coffee. Well, yeah, I, I had coffee with this. So it was very delicious. Look at that. Look, look at that sawfish popping. The colors are popping. Um, like I said, make it, make it, make it do what it do. All right. So thank you again for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.